Welcome to another day of um, happy coloring in Enchanted Forest and uh, today I'm going to add more color to the shaded areas and because I want to do that with a lot of uh, precision I uh, choose this one Faber-Castell Polychromos Dark Indigo I did a little bit of work already, so uh, when it comes to um, precision work with colored pencil, I think Polychromos is the absolute uh, winner of the pencils that I own. Now when I want to do precision work, I start with a line almost on top of the black line that is already here. So that is the black line that Joanna Besford drew. And then I go slowly and come away from that to the left. So if I want to be very precise, I do it like that, as close as possible to that black line. So a um, sharp point is important. I will now bring some variation in the shading and that will give the impression that some rocks are coming out of the wall more than others. So I now chose this rock stone to come out of the wall a little bit more than, than the other ones. And that means that it is casting a shadow over this one and this little one. I want this rock to come forward too. So that will Give a little bit of shadow over here as well. And these little rocks will give, will have a little bit of shadow too. So this is the result so far. And then when you look at the stones on the left side of this drawing, you can see uh, the sheer difference so uh, between uh, drawing the shadows or not drawing shadows. I will just continue to use this color for this lamp. Again, I start very close 
to the black line. Today is my um, first day of, uh, well, let's call it vacation. It is not completely vacation, but I took some time off to work on my coloring book, my coloring instruction book. and. Um, I also wanted to uh, spend some extra time uh, making videos. There are so many things I want to show you that um, sometimes you really need to, to just create the time to make it happen. This is really going to work. So much fun. Shadows are so important for drawings. It really can uh, make your drawing look so much better. I am now going to use this one, Brown Zill Design, Brown Grey, to add a little bit more color to this um, rope. It looks like a rope. It's not a rope. I think it is some sort of uh, it is uh, It is made out of stone, I am sure about that. And I'm using this color to add a first layer, or second layer actually, because there is already a little bit of cool gray here. To add a little bit of 3D effect by adding this as a uh, shadow. In a later stadium I will uh, add darker colors, but this is just to uh, just to get a feel where things are going. Now because this is a rounded shape, the shadow will not have a sharp edge but it will fade away so the sun comes from the right then this is the darkest area and then it will like fade away no that is not so good vis I um, I will show that that will be more clear when more layers are added. Now this, uh, this period of uh, time out my vacation is not only about uh, coloring and working on my book it is also about um, 
organizing our home. The spring cleaning thing. I think I mentioned it in another video. This uh, spring cleaning uh, virus hits me in summer, I've noticed. So this is the difference between a little bit of shading and uh, almost no shading. So I will do some more over here. And uh, this arch is uh, interesting when it comes to shading. And I'll show you because the area, now this is the area that is sh shaded. But when the, the arch um, becomes almost horizontal in the top, then the shaded areas are not the same as over here. So now here things are slightly changing. I already put in a little bit of shadow with this lighter cool grey, but it is not completely accurate because when the light comes from this direction, then the shadow will be here. And as we move on, things will change slightly. So the shadow comes from here. Uh, this, the shadow, the light comes from that direction.
So over here, if, if the light comes from this direction, then the shadow will be much more This will be the darkest place, and then it will become lighter. I need to sharpen my pencil. So here's the point again. Ooh, very sharp. Oh. If you want to know what kind of pencil sharpener I'm using, I uh, put a video online where I show you two pencil sharpeners and they are actually very very cheap just aluminum aluminium pencil sharpeners and they do a great job The weather is gorgeous over here. We have had a week last week with high temperatures. Many people were complaining, of course. <laughs> we Dutch always complain about the weather. But I was having a marvelous time because I love higher temperatures. We were heading for... Um, I think, well, it was about uh, between 30 and 35 degrees Celsius, so that is about 95 Fahrenheit. I'm not so accustomed with the Fahrenheit uh, scale. Anyway, it was a marvelous time. We have a small river over here, very small river in a uh, area that has been designated as natural, uh, as nature. It is not nature, but um, the intention is to uh, to let that uh, area be become what it wants to become and there is this little tiny river and uh, they put a uh, nice sandy beach over there so I went there swimming it was very nice And our garden looks very nice as well. The water lilies are in bloom. Oh, I think I can show you that. Look, this is uh, our garden. With uh, lovely flowers and uh, our pond. I'm going to do more shading over here and I'm going to add this one it is a luminance Karandash luminance Prussian blue this is a color that I haven't been using very much yet and I'd love to uh, test it now I'm I have been having some problems with this uh, paper in my enchanted forest um, copy because this Dutch version has very slick paper and uh, especially the softer the, the more waxy pencils seem to have a problem the point breaks The Eurogetan pencils are doing well, but I have only 30. But 
but this one seems to do well too. It's not that it is impossible to color with the other pencils, I, but it takes a bit more effort than uh, I would love to. Uh, at the start of this video you will find a new uh, feature <laughs> I don't remember your name Dutch lady but you suggested that I should give you guys a list of the pencils that I've been using in the video because uh, that makes it easier for you to uh, to color along. So I decided to write down the colors that I've been using and I will make a picture of this list and then I will show that at the beginning of the video so you can pick your colors before the video starts. And hopefully that will make it easier for you to uh, color along. This uh, blue shaded area is just one of the many layers more will come We have a cloudy day today, but uh, the weather forecast is uh, telling that uh, in the afternoon the sun should uh, be more uh, on the forefront. The temperature is great though. When the sun shines, I always want to go outside. So, um, this may not be so bad, having some clouds. Because uh, the intention is to uh, do some organizing and cleaning. And that will be much easier if I do not have the urge to to go outside. I have to go outside by the way today because yesterday I found out that the caterpillars are back and I don't know if I told it in this series or in other series, the, uh, uh, the Secret Garden series, but here in the Netherlands last year an infestation of caterpillars that don't belong here uh, just arrived. They are very specific caterpillars. They only live in boxwood and they eat your boxwood like crazy. There are reports that in one night Complete boxwood hedges are gone. All the leaves eaten, just gone. Now we have some nice boxwood. I was coloring outside your view, I'm sorry. 
sometimes that happens. Now we have a lot of boxwood in our garden and I really don't want them to, uh, those bushes to be gone. So um, I'm doing my best to catch the little buggers. Now if you compare left to right, I think you can see a great difference already. Just lovely. Now I'm going to use this one. Faber Castell Polychromos Gold Grey number no. 6. I just put it on my list. I will show you that in the video. Now you could use the brown grey that I already used or the Prussian blue or the dark indigo but I just love using different colors here and there. So and I will use this one to draw the shadow that ha is being cast by this rope, stone rope, on this these stones. There will be some sort of uh, shadow over here. I just uh, gave it a sharp point. There are already quite some layers here on the paper and then at some point you will feel that a sharp point will help you to get the, pa the um, pigment on paper without pressing too hard. And when you need to press harder, you will risk uh, uh, losing your precision. I think that is the thing. This is really interesting. I've tried Luminance, the most expensive pencil in the world, I believe, in, a, in Europe, uh, for sure. I've tried Prismacolor Premieres, I've tried my brown sales, and these Polychromos is the only pencil that will not snap its point when it is freshly sharpened. And that snapping, it is just a tiny flake that comes off. But these polychromos keep their points. And that is... That is so fine. That is so nice. I think... Faber Castell does an extremely great job when it comes to the quality of this pencil. And then, if you compare it to the price, what you have to pay for them, they are extremely good. They are not cheap, absolutely not. But the quality is superb. The only downside is that this paper is not so good. But uh, I don't think I can blame these pencils. The same happens when you do watercolor. If you have beautiful paints, 
and beautiful brushes, but you have a lousy paper, then your painting will turn out to be a mess. The most important thing is good paper quality. And maybe that same rule goes for uh, pencils as well. This, uh, I like this. I think I will continue coloring this page from right to left. So first the right side, so you can see the difference. I think that uh, may help. Look at that stone rope. On the left side it is without, almost without shading. And on the right side it comes to life. So nice. Okay, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.